Hi there, this is Ifederi aka Eddie from edditwix.com. Um, this is actually my first um, tutorial I'm going to be putting on YouTube. First um, video, so uh, I'm, I'm quite excited. Oh, okay, so let's quickly go to the business of the day. Um, today I'm going to be showing us how we can add watermarks into the various um, photos that we are going to be using our, on our various blogs or on social media yeah so because you need to be adding that watermark because you know um, the internet is an open source anybody can come when you see that you have an exclusive image they would like to pick it up and use it anyhow that they like so um you'll be doing yourself a whole lot of good if you have um your logo or something as a watermark on that image so at least you are going to be keeping your copyright and secondly you need to be having that watermark on that image or photo because you want to keep things professional yeah so that's another good reason and um, we're going to be doing that with our android smartphone you don't have to wait till you get to your to your pc and make use of uh, your uh, image editors like photoshop or any other software that you make use you don't you don't need to get to your pc you can do it right from your android smartphone if you can take that picture um, you can add your watermark and you can post it on social media or on your blog immediately without wasting time so and we're going to be learning how to do that quickly and easily so um we're going to be making use of an app called um pixart if you are aware of that app if you know about that app already it's actually one of my favorites. I've been using it for a couple of years. Uh, so um, here's the pixel that you're going to launch the app. Okay, um, before we proceed, okay, here's something I worked on before. Before we proceed, uh, I want to believe that you already have your your logo stored inside your device. The logo needs to be um, having a transparent background yeah so uh, i already have them inside my um, smartphone so first of all we are going to be picking the image that we want to add the watermark on so you click on edit from the um pix art once you launch it you click on edit so it's going to prompt you to open your gallery so this is my gallery so okay so i have different gadgets here that I want to use so um let's make use of this okay it's going to load up the image that I want to add my watermark on okay all uh, this cool uh, now we are going to add the the logo that we want to use as the watermark on this image so I already have it in this device it is already having a transparent background so I'll just come here and I'll add it for my gallery. Okay, the image is right here. So I'm going to check it. Okay, and I'll click done. Okay, the logo has loaded up inside the image. Okay, <clears throat> Pixar is quite flexible. You can move your um, logo to any position that you like you can keep it anywhere you like you can um you can rotate it to any position that you like okay you can expand it and you can shrink it anyhow that you like okay so let's just leave it right here i think it's cool here it's nice okay um <clears throat> the thing about this image right now is it's it's the watermark is quite too thick so i'm going to reduce the opacity so that it's going to be a bit transparent just in case my viewers they want to zoom in and see something much more clearly so my logo is not going to be blocking their view so i've, I've reduced the opacity it's looking a bit transparent but it's still right there 
so i'll leave it this way then i'll click on the check mark okay now once you click on the check mark um it's ready for saving there are two options for you to save it it's either you make use of <coughs> the 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 gear icon at the top right or you can make use of the download icon at the top right okay um you can save it from here or you can make use of this download icon here so it's going to prompt you to save it with any file name that you like okay so maybe let's just save this as edit tweaks edit tweaks um perhaps let's just call this a water mark three yeah so uh, you can save it in any file extension it could be jpeg or png if you're saving it as png okay the um the image is going to be very clear it's going to be detailed uh, but it's definitely going to be much more heavy okay but if you're saving as a jpeg the image won't be heavy but it won't be as detailed as png so um let me be let's just choose jpeg so once you choose the file extension that you want to save it as, then you click on OK. Okay, <clears throat> now it's saved inside the gallery. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, um, it's saved inside the gallery. Now we're going to go back and view it. Okay, um, here's my file manager. I can view my images right from here. So that's it. It's right here. Okay, this is the image. You can see it. it's looking quite nice. Okay, um, just in case you do not have a logo that you want to use as watermark on your image. Um, of course there's an alternative for you you can still make use of pix art uh, and um, some text that you can use as a watermark if you do not have a logo okay so to do that just open the pix art you click on edit you open the image that you want to work on okay let's say maybe you want to add a watermark on on one of this okay it loads up okay oh great okay um <clears throat> if you would like to add a watermark and perhaps you do not have a logo you can do something simple to still keep your credits of this image see <clears throat> so now you are going to scroll scroll to the right till you find text inside the pix art okay you click on this text it will bring out a few fonts for you to choose from there are different fonts font designs so i'm going to pick something simple <clears throat> and even at that there there's option for you to pick uh, different colors that can blend with the image that you want to use okay so you can do it anyhow that you, that you like to suit your taste <clears throat> i wouldn't want to add um, too many colors to this i just want to keep it simple okay so let's just call this uh, maybe you want to add something you want to see maybe my photo okay <clears throat> now it's here then you click on this checkbox this uh check mark here okay so it's right there you can shrink it you can rotate it anyhow you like keep it in any position you like you can expand it it's very flexible so i will leave this right here okay now um we can still reduce the opacity just in case the image the the text is too thick okay you can make it a bit more transparent okay it's fine now we are going to click on this check mark okay um good so once more we are going to be making use of this download icon here then 
we save it with a file name that that we like any file name of your choice um maybe you can just say my photo simple choose your file extension jpg or png any of them you click on ok it tells you saved okay and now we're good to go so you just close it you go back you go back and you go to your file manager and you can view it from image so that's it it's very very easy to use very simple simple stuff yeah so that's that about how we can add watermarks into our various images and photos that we would like to use on our blogs or on social media if you like this video uh, this is my first please hit the subscribe button uh, um, if you like it please give us a thumbs up um, and when you subscribe you know we're going to be coming up with more videos that you're definitely going to enjoy so um, thanks for watching this and see you in the next episode See ya and stay awesome. Bye.